Tim Tebow's dream of becoming a major leaguer has ended as the former Heisman Trophy winner announced his retirement from baseball on Wednesday night. Tebow said, quote, I loved every minute of the journey. Thank you again for everyone's support. I'll always cherish my time as a Met. Hashtag Let's Go Mets. The guy sitting to my left is here in Major League Camp again this year. It's Tim Tebow, and, and, and we hear so much about Tim Tebow and this journey that you're on, Tim, and you were an invite to Major League Camp. So how do you look at yourself and where you fit into the equation here with the New York Mets? Well, I don't really necessarily try to worry about that. Um, that's out of my control. I think I focus on what's in my control, and that's every day, my attitude, my effort, my focus, and trying to improve and get better. And uh, I think there's a lot of areas from when the offseason came and I had surgery to, to really, you know, that I worked on, and now it's trying to implement it with the more variables that come and trying to improve every day. So that improvement, it's, it's obviously been a, a, a pretty steep upward curve, right? I mean, a lot of people didn't give you much of a chance to even be in this position. That's so from okay. A, from a baseball standpoint, right, what do you think you've gotten a lot better at? Um, I think my jumps in the outfield. I think... Um Pitch selection, um, you know, base path, just the little things that you you do over and over and over again, you know, whether it's, you know, cutting ball off in the gap, whether it's reverse pivoting from, you know, um, you know, one that's hit down the corner if you're playing left field. I mean, all the little things that, um, that I think someone that's played the game their whole life takes for takes for granted a little bit. And, yep. and I get used to all those things and I'm still working on them and just trying to take those little steps. How, how you say little steps, but they are enormous steps. Right, for somebody who hadn't played the game since high school, right? So relearning how to play baseball and trying to do it at this level, while you downplay it, I mean, trying to hit a curveball, a major league curveball. <laughs> it's not easy. Right, it's not easy. That's so what true. have you, ha how have you tried to, to pick up those things and to stand in there against the best in the world? Well, I think it's to, to focus on the small things. Don't, don't look at the big picture every day. You know, focus on the little things. Okay, I'm going to work on these three things today. I'm going to improve in this area. Um, and then you keep taking those small steps, and all of a sudden you look back and you've, you've covered a good bit of distance. You know, and, and I think that's my mentality is kind of, you know, head down, just fo focus on the next step, the next day. You know, what can I do today to improve? Can I take those few steps? Can I, can I get better in these areas? Can I learn from the great players? Um, you know, it's awesome having, you know, Robbie can know and and watching him being in yes. the same group as him you know every day and so being able to to see how he approaches it talking every day um, you know that's you know can't ask for much more how much of that do you do how much do you try to feed off some of the veteran oh, I successful feed off a lot. players I mean, the last in the few game. years it was David Wright yeah. um, you know as a bunch of other guys I would talk to talk to the pitchers you know Jacob or Noah or these guys about hey what, what, what would they be thinking in this situation and then um, you know just being able to watch and be a around the game as much as possible and absorb as much as you can. Do you feel like you're close? I feel like to I'm the getting, big leagues? I feel like I'm getting better every day. You do. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's going to become and, and Sandy Alderson last year said it's a possibility. Brody Van Wagenen has said it's a possibility deep in your heart. You think it's going to happen? You think you will be a major leaguer? Well, I get why well, you have to ask the question. So I think yes. you also, you've heard it before. I've you've heard, heard it heard many it times. Many times. And I, yes. I think for me, it's yeah. I just want to I, I give it the best shot that I can and um, leave no stone unturned and be able to improve and be the best baseball player in as short a time as possible. When it comes to what you've done away from sports, and it's been well documented, you've been a great humanitarian. What one thing off the playing field are you most proud of? Oh, my goodness. Um, you know, I, th I just think it's all the little ways that we try to fight for people that can't fight for themselves. You know, if, if you look in um, at our foundation and all the things that we're doing, it's truly for people that can't fight for themselves. It, whether it's our hospital in the Philippines, it's our um, orphanages in, in four different countries, it's our Night to Shine, which we just had 655 of them in 24 countries around the world. Um, every one of these areas is for people that can't fight for themselves. And, um, and, you know, there's a lot of people that are hurting and that need our help. And I think that's my biggest mission and biggest calling far more beyond than just on a diamond well it's impressive tim thank and you. Uh, we wish you all the best it's thank great you to so see much you. thanks nice for joining see us you. yes sir thanks. thank you